Hello, this is John Cordy. I'm starting a series called Director Prep. Uh, this is number one in that series, and I'm starting with what I think is very important, which I would call the other half of the job. Everybody who wants to be a filmmaker starts to think about cameras and learning Final Cut Pro and sound and all these technical things, and sometimes forget about or leave to the last the whole idea of dealing with people, actors, producers, other crew people, and so forth. And that's a very important part of the equation, something that I've spent a lot of time on. So uh, I'm starting by saying that the director sets the tone of the, of the shoot. Everybody will tell you that one of the first things that people on the crew listen for and look for on the first day of shooting is to find out if the director is a screamer. And I've had people come up to me at the end of the first day saying, gee, I'm glad you're not a screamer, um, and very happy about it because it sets the tone for the rest of the shoot. So my own background is that I'm a fairly positive person and I don't lose my temper and yell at people and I try to get what I want through negotiation. And that's an important thing to learn about directing. The power is not absolute. You have to negotiate and you have to pick your fights. And that's very important how you pick your fights. Um, years ago I had the opportunity to work with a very talented actress, Vanessa Redgrave, and I was excited about working with her. She showed up a couple days before the start of the shoot and I went to her hotel room, we had a nice talk in her living room, the suite, and as we were talking, and she was talking about how she saw the character, um, she was curled up on the sofa, her shoes off, and a sweater and slacks, looked very comfortable, and she said, you know, I think this character doesn't like shoes very much. And it was totally out of the blue. I didn't know what to say. My mind started racing. I thought, my God, it's not the character that doesn't like shoes, it's Vanessa Redgrave. But that's all right, what can I do about it? Um, and as she went on talking about other aspects of the character, I was racing ahead trying to think, how am I going to deal with this? And the first thoughts that came into my head were like, well, how many times are we going to see her feet? I mean, we're going to do a lot of medium shots and close-ups, and how many times will we actually even see her feet? And with the cameraman, I worked it out so that it was very, very rare that we even saw our feet. And that allowed Vanessa to work the way she was happiest, barefoot. And we got a great performance. So you have to uh, think about these things as negotiations and not power struggles. Um, you have to also think on your feet. Sometimes totally unexpected things happen and you've got to find a solution quickly, on the spot. I was making a film about an adult retarded woman and we had a very emotional scene where she's saying goodbye to her sister who lives far away. And in the rehearsal, the sister saying goodbye broke up and cried very authentically. And as soon as we started shooting, she couldn't do it again. Take one, two, three, four, couldn't do it. Apologized to me, I said, that's all right, just take a break. I went over to the woman playing the retarded lady and I said, this time try to fit in somewhere a line where you say, I'm so sorry I couldn't have been a normal sister for you. And she did that and instantly the other actress started crying. It was just unexpected, it was emotional and it worked. So remember that the script is not the Bible. It is there as a guide, but sometimes you have to add, subtract, change to make things work for yourself and for the actors. The other side of it is working with big stars. Um, I worked with Jack Lemmon years ago, and it was the biggest star I'd ever had to work with at that point. And I decided to be strictly honest with him because he told me he took this project called Alex and the Gypsy. Uh, because he wanted to do something different. And so I said, well, Jack, if you really want to do something different, other two things I'd like for you not to do in this film. One of them is pull at your collar, and the other one is to take little steps. And he just stared at me for the longest time, and I thought, oh, my God, I've alienated the star of my film on the first conversation I've had with him. 
And then after, finally, uh, he, he sort of laughed and he said, yeah, I guess I do that a lot, don't I? <laughs> we had a great relationship after that. And I told him the best thing to work on was to lengthen his stride, to think of it as a character trait. And he went out on the Fox lot and started walking with the biggest strides he could make. So there are a lot of ins and outs. And the most important thing is to keep your sense of humor, keep yourself in good shape, uh, get a lot of sleep, and good luck.